Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. For the scent of the day, I have this candle right here and it's a miniature floral candle from one of the boxes I'm reviewing and it smells really good. So I'm just testing this out and seeing how I like it. And I also have some incense going and this is an Indian brand, it's called Satya. And this is the Dragon's Blood fragrance and I love it so far. And I'm also reviewing this currently. But that is hands down my favorite brand of incense I have ever tried. So if you ever see that in the store, definitely pick it up and give it a shot. So I'm feeling good today, I have a lot of energy. I'm wearing my favorite shirt. You'll probably see this shirt a lot because every time I wash it, I wear it. I just love it, it's so comfortable. If you're new around here, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you will never miss anything interesting. And also, I do post every single day on Reddit and Instagram, so if you like new daily updated content, be sure to go follow me over on there. Now, as per usual, we're gonna do the review and the tutorial on the palette of the week. And this week, we're featuring the One Size Beauty Patrick Star Visionary Palette. We're gonna be focusing on this today and seeing what's up with this. If you're ready, Let's get started. So here's the palette by One Size Beauty. It's called the Patrick Star Visionary. And it has a pink chromatic cardboard packaging. And it has an offset opening created specifically for people with long fingernails so they can access the palette easier. And when you look inside, there's a very large mirror inside. Here's the layout of the palette. And there are 15 circular eyeshadows in which three are actually embossed. Each shadow holds 1.5 grams of product, which is an above average amount of shadow. There are two formulas in this palette. There are nine mattes and six shimmers, except this shade and this shade actually act as pressed glitters, so it's kind of weird because they seem like a different formula than the rest. The matte formula is very stubborn and very hard to blend out. I had a very difficult time with the matte formula. The shimmers were also difficult to use. I really, really, really had to build them up for any sort of intensity. But I do like the nice light to dark gradient there is in this palette. It goes from very light to very dark. The inspiration behind creation of this palette is that it's Patrick Starr's everyday wearable favorites, and he created this palette to be for every single skin tone. This palette is cruelty free, and it is vegan, and it does cost $42, and that breaks down to $2.80 per shade, which is an affordable price per shade. So now that we know some info about the palette, let's get started with the look. I'm gonna scoot you in a little bit closer. Now we're up close and personal. So for the prep step, you know I've been recently going in with this L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil. This is so far my favorite tight lining pencil, but the only bad thing that I found with it is that it's really hard to get off. So you're gonna need like an oil-based cleanser to kind of get it off, but it is by far the best looking tight lining pencil I've ever used. So I'm gonna go ahead and tight line both eyes on the upper waterline with this. Now, even though I found a better tight liner, haven't found a better primer. So revel on candid it is. We're gonna just prime the eyelids today with this. Now the look we're gonna be doing today is called an oval blend out cut crease. So it's just a normal cut crease and we're gonna make an oval shape in our outer corner kind of. And it's a very fun look and I love how it turns out. So if you like it, try recreating it yourself. So to begin, we're gonna need two brushes. I always like to start with a detail brush and a small fluffy blender. The first shade we're gonna go into is the dark brown in the palette. And we're gonna start in the mid crease right here and you're just gonna create a little teeny oval that wraps around to your outer corner. So it should look something like this. Now once you have that shape built, then you can just go ahead and fill it in. Now 
Now once you get both your ovals done, go ahead with your fluffy blender and try your hardest to blend the shape out and try to fluff up the edges a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a gradient effect over this oval. So we're gonna keep going in with a little bit lighter browns. So the next shade we're gonna go into is a mid-tone brown called Softer, And we're gonna go ahead and put that on the harsh line of the dark brown. So same shade, same process, just a little bit higher. And then take your brush and fluff those edges up a little bit too. Now we're gonna go in with the lightest brown and do the exact same thing with it. And this is our final color for this step. And lastly, blend the edges of that light brown out. Now the next shade we're gonna go into is the matte green in the palette. And we're gonna take this shade from the inner corner and meet up with the other shadows in the mid crease. It should look like this. Now once you have your line drawn, take that green on your brush and kind of gently blend it into the brown all the way down into the middle. And you can fill in this little upper portion right here too. Now once you have all that filled in, try your hardest to blend out the edge of that green line that you made right there. Okay, once we get to this step, it's time to cut the crease. And you know I like to go in with my ABH eye primer as my cut crease base. And I just got a bunch of these brushes on eBay for a dollar or so. And they're very good detail brushes for doing stuff just like this. Okay, now before your base dries, you wanna go in with the green shimmer. And I prefer to use this wet, so I just spray it with my little bottle of water and put this directly on your cut crease. And with the shade, you really need to build it up quite a bit, so just be patient with it and you can get it there. Okay, this is what we have so far, but now we gotta blend our cut crease into our oval. And to do that, just take your detail brush, and I like to start with the dark brown, and just gently tap on the harsh line with your dark brown. And then we're gonna put the mid-tone on next. And then lastly, the light brown. Now we can safely go on to our lower lash line. So before anything, let's line the waterline. And for this look, I chose a shimmery green option. And it's just this diamond line fancy pencil. Now you know I like to use a pencil brush for the lower lash line, so I'm just grabbing any old pencil brush and going into the dark brown shade. And what you gotta do is take this outer corner and connect it. So you might need to go out a little further than you usually do, but you wanna connect it to the top oval. So it looks like that. So there's no dip in it. Now our next shade is the green and we're gonna stick that in the middle. 
And the last shade for the inner portion of the lower lash line is that gold glitter. Now you also want to take that gold glitter and put it in your inner corner as well. I'm going to go do some quick mascara and then I will be right back to show you the final look. All right, here it is. Here's the final eye look. I think it turned out pretty good, and I do love the eye look, but the palette is not my favorite by any means, but I think it can turn out a pretty nice look. So let me know below if you have this palette and if you plan on creating this kind of look with it. I would love to know. And that is all I have for you today. So if you like this video and you have fun hanging out with me, give me a big thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down button. And until next time,